Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume our complete beginner's guide to Dragon Quest, shall we? Well, we're doing so well because we got magic keys. Magic keys allowed us to just loot everything, get a whole bunch of cool items, and now that we are level 8, we have a copper sword, an iron armor, and leather shield. All of these need to be upgraded. It's not enough to do anything that we want right now. Uh, so in my opinion, um, the best course of action for us is to move over to Rimmeldar area and just grind up experience. We need to buy a better weapon, we want to buy a better shield, and we want to buy better armor. And in so doing, we will get our level up. We'd like to be level 9 or 10 before we go try to go back to Galen Holm go into the crypt underneath and explore and obtain the liar. Additionally, we could go to the west and try to get the fighter's ring. Uh, that's certainly possible. But what I would like to do before I do any of that and before I feel comfortable is just crank up some experience so that it's easier for us. The um, So we learned how to get to the grave of Galen the Bard in Galen Home, uh, which is the town to the northwest of uh, Tantagil. And we learned that by talking to the person in the castle who was kind of beyond the blue and white damaging floor. So we know where to go. The first two floors of that are manageable if we can do this area that we're about to go to. Uh, let me just check my hit points. We have 32. That's fine. Remember, we're just hugging the left wall. We don't even need to use a torch here. As long as we stay on that, we'll get right to the steps and come out. But the third floor of the uh, kind of tomb area underneath Galen Holm is going to be enemies that are just way too difficult for us at this stage. So we would like to be stronger before we do that. At least I would. So now that skeleton was actually pretty easy for us. Always just go to your status. What kind of hit points we got? So we're 20 down. Um, I'm almost at half health, so I will heal myself. And that is because you find yourself in a pattern in this game of fights that either take two or three rounds. And you need to have all of your hit points to take two strong hits from difficult enemies. And they can go either way. Like, if you get killed uh, because you miss or they go before you, it's a shame. So you want to be at full health to just really, really mitigate that. Now, I'm going to walk down here. And here's a beware wolf. And the beware wolf, um, we're going to try to punch. You see he does 11. And he does 9. And then that, you see how that third time he actually went before us. So this is a, an example of a fight that lasts three turns, but we can tank all of the damage. We got 40 experience and 60 gold. Now, when I started today, we were 255 off leveling. So this is going to level us up really quickly. We have 773 gold. I'm going to heal, though, because in that fight, we needed all of our hit points to make it. The guy could have gone first again on the last round or another round and just really troubled us. So... It, it might not be efficient at first, this, you know, but it's we're getting so much golden experience here. So let's just do our shopping list. Let's see what we got. So this guy says um, we can buy an iron axe. We can buy a steel broadsword. We can buy iron armor, and we can buy full plate armor. So what do I want? Well, um, full plate looks amazing. He actually doesn't sell a better shield. We'll have to go to Galen Holm for that, I believe. But let me look at myself. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, actually, we did buy iron armor, which is a good upgrade for this area. But we want full plate. I'm going to buy the axe right away. So I'm going to buy the iron axe. You can see it gives us a boost of five attack. It's not huge. Like... Granted, that is not an enormous amount, but what happens is we get this, and 
we can make these fights around us. Um, oops. Um, I'm going to sell my sword. So we're going to sell this copper sword. This holy water, I really don't need it. Um, we'll probably have to end up dumping it, but for now it's fine. And how many magic points? I'm really close to max. I don't need to rest at the end at this point. And I'm close enough to max hit points. So now, if you look at us, we have the um, Iron Axe equipped. And the reason that this is worth it, instead of just trying to like save all of our gold for that full plate, is it'll just get us in a situation where, especially once we level, we'll be able to take these fights in two rounds instead of three. So remember, like I was doing you know, 11, 14 damage to this guy. And now... Okay, he hit us twice, we hit him three times. That's what happens if he doesn't go first. That, you know, but um, we need to heal. And it's going to be, like, kind of tough sledding at first here, but you'll see we'll get really, really good. Now, um, this was a point that was brought up in the comments, and this used to be true in a lot of old-school RPGs. I'm not sure if it still is, but the environment that you're walking on, so the hills, the forests, the plains, the desert, the hostility of the environment can affect the encounter rate. So I like to operate under the pretense that that's true. I think it's true, I'm not sure. So I enjoy leveling right here in these hills because not only are we gonna get enemies at a higher rate, this is a scare wolf, which is strictly better than the, the werewolf. And we have to really, really watch this fight. We might not make it. Okay, he fizzled us, which is actually good. We can't cast spells, which means we can't heal, we can't sizz but it means that he wasted a turn where he could have been hitting us for a ton of damage. See, he hits us for 14. But we could still kill him in three rounds, just like the Werewolf. And he gives us 52 experience and 80 gold. So we are going to rifle through the amount of money and experience we need to level up very quickly here, which is awesome. It's such a good area. But also in these hills, we do have the option, like, it's possible that we catch some gold golems. Gold golems only give six experience, but they give 650 gold, which is, you know, phenomenal for just kind of getting up into the um, range of the full plate. I do not recommend buying the magic plate because um, by the time you get to that point, you're going to get Erdrick's armor around level 15, and it heals better than the magic plate and has more defense than it, and we need all the money we can get when we get to Cantlin for buying... Um, you know, the, the flaming sword and uh, the silver shield, for example, which are super expensive. So I recommend not buying the magic plate, but if you've got a lot of money and you want to splash around, go for it. So we're just going to keep rolling. And uh, 34 is enough hit points. This is fine. Iron Scorpion. Okay, we only did three damage to this guy. So that means we need to sizz. And we need to sizz again. <laughs> okay. So that's a tough one. We have to use a lot of MP to defeat that. And it doesn't even give us that many experience in gold. So it's kind of a shame. But that's just the reality. I am going to heal, by the way. Um, this, There are some fights that are still a little bit iffy for me. So I'm going to just get into one more battle. Yeah, this is a tough one. Like, this upgraded skeleton, you'll see he's hitting us pretty hard. He also heals himself. That's more annoying than anything else. He's not hitting us when he does that. So he's not really putting himself at a huge advantage. And we can kill him, but look at that. We went down to 11 health. So not ideal, but boom, we leveled up. So now we go from 8 to 9. Strength by 4. That's almost just like getting the Iron Axe again. Agility by 2. Resilience by 1. Hit points for MP by 6. Sweet. And we got Glow. So Glow is a really nice utility spell. Uh, I'm going to heal myself. And I'll show you. It lights up the dingiest dungeon. So you get a lot of spells in this game that replace consumables. Glow is better than the torch. It makes a bigger radius of light so you can explore dungeons more easily. And you'll notice this really soon. The inventory space in this game is crazy. It is such a premium. So, you don't want to be carrying torches. You just won't have enough space. Now, I'm working my way back because I only have seven magic points. And I'm going to need to uh, be able to heal myself. 
Now that you saw right there, that big werewolf, that was two rounds. So before that was taking us three, we got a new axe, we leveled up, now that's down to two. And that's the kind of magic equation that you're looking for in this game. You're just really looking to punch it into that two rounds, you know, for a win. And now what I'm going to do is just grind up. There isn't a better shield here for us to get. So I'm just going to grind up and purchase the full plate armor. And then we'll move on. There isn't anything else for us to do right here. If I push X and show you on the map uh, where I'm at, you see I'm in the kind of wing in that southeastern desert. Below us, there is a little shrine with uh, one of the sages that Erdrick trusted items with, but he won't give us anything unless we have proof of our uh, lineage, and so we don't have that right now. So the, he just tells us to go get it before he'll talk to us, basically. So it's, it's not really worth us going there, and if we do cross that bridge, the enemies are harder. So now we're doing five damage to this guy. Eight damage. Nine. Got him. So, instead of using two magic points for Sizz, I just kept hitting that dude. Hey, speak of the gold golem, we got one. Gold golem hits us hard right now, unfortunately. So, you see, he's hitting us for 14. So, this is going to come right down to this, where if we have to kill him right here... Um, or not. So the gold golem is actually too hard for us. So uh, sadly, we just lost half of our money. But because we just bought our axe, it wasn't that bad. And that's the thing. Like, we need 623 for a new level, no problem. Um, yeah, we'll save it. Sweet. Okay. So that is what we want to do, is keep going back to that area. I lost 300 gold. Um, I had a chance to win 650, but... You'll have to forgive me, I'm playing on my other file, and it's like the gold golem is not that hard, but he's still too hard for us. Uh, probably at, when we get full plate, we could take him, or, you know, one more level up, something like that. He won't be as formidable, but he just hits us too hard. We even went first on the fourth round, I kind of risked it, and we still didn't make it. If we would have healed, it wouldn't have um, helped us turn the tide right there. What instead we want to do is, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to do two things. Well, just maybe one thing. Let's go over here. Let's hit Galen home. And, uh, you know, these enemies are a joke to their around here. Let's just see how, uh, if they are selling a shield, if my memory is correct. What that would take, just to kind of get a price list out. Oh boy, we missed. And the Drakey wanted to make us pay for it, but we survived. Alright, so... The other nice thing about coming here is, let's go in and, wait, no, wrong place. Uh, this dude, right here. They do. They have an iron shield for 800. This gives us six defense, which is crazy. Honestly, if we had this, um, we would probably be able to take a gold golem just with that boost. Um, so that's what we need. We need that. Additionally, I'm going to go over here. I'm just going to use a magic key to open this door. And now you can talk to these people. Intendest thou to visit the grave of the gate Galen? Know that the sound of his harp is said to draw monsters for miles around. Think upon that ere thou proceedest. And in my traveling days, I did lay my hand at the inn in fair Damdara in the south. Kind indeed was the proprietor. I wonder if he prospers still. Hmm... Hmm, the entrance to the grave of Galen? Forgive me, friend, but I cannot simply tell thee of its whereabouts. It must be found by thine own efforts or not at all, which we know where it is because we talk to the person, or we know kind of how to get it. And the clue that the game is giving you is that little green peninsula to the north of us. 
Now, I can't walk north here. And this guy says, take it, foul thief, licentious larcener, take it all. What have need have I of money? Our world will soon be laid waste. What good will my gold be meet to me then? You're right. So let's take all this treasure. So we got a torch, which is meh. And we got a copper sword, which we can't um, get unless we throw a possession away. And then it will be that torch. And we got 630 gold coins. So this is one of those examples of like another place we still need to come use the magic key. And we're going to buy the iron shield, you bet. Let's use the key here to talk to Granny. Gadzook, so thou found a way to open doors, I see. Then one good unlocking but get another. Here, a key for your troubles. Use the key I gave to thee wisely and do not cause too much mischief. And basically she just replaces your key. So nothing great, but kind of funny. If we want to go to the grave, you need to walk up on one of these tiles and just keep pushing up until, boom, you get right through. And you come over here and this guy says, Know that no man has ventured unto the grave of Galen and returned. Enter only if thou carest not for thy young life. And now we can walk down in here. I'm going to show you what, uh, if I use glow, how big of a light that gives us. Now we're not going to explore right here, right now. Because I want to get some more equipment and level up first. But there it is, we got it. So... That's how you get to the grave. Now, you do need a magic key every time you want to get there because that door is going to lock again. Just remember that. We have five magic keys, so we're good. But I'm going to go here and right away I'm going to buy... Um, actually, no, I need to sell stuff. I don't have any item space. I'm going to sell the copper sword. This is also money. And we're going to buy the iron shield. Sweet. And we equip it. And we're going to sell our leather shield. And we're done. At this point, um, oops, sorry, I, I didn't mean to talk to you. Coming over here, I have 52 health, 30 magic, 305 gold. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use a chimera wing. And this will just instantly transport us back. And then I'm going to go to the inn, stay, restore everything. 305 gold, cool. We're kind of back where we were. So, But we're stronger by six defense, which is a huge boost. I'm going to go ahead and use a holy water. I'm using this mostly just to get it out of my inventory. And this will let us just walk right back over to Rimmeldar area to try to get that full plate without having to fight as many jerks. And then once it wears off, you just use it again. Now this is a good um, point to mention, which is that Holy Water only works on what the game registers as weak enemies for you. So if it's an enemy that the game perceives as um, being dangerous to you, then you will not avoid it. So you can't use holy water to go through areas with enemies that are like your skill level, even slightly below it. It'll get you. I'm not even going to bother with glow in here because I don't need it. I've made it to the stairwell. These enemies are a joke. All right. Now, I am at 37 hit points, and I'm about to lose some more, so I'm going to heal myself. Fantastic. All right. Now we're going to go back down. You can also just try to, you know, fight guys in this little desert. A lot of enemies here. Two rounds for that. See, so we're down to two rounds for the scorpion, and he only did six damage to us. But, um, and we had the holy water on, and we did not stop him, by the way. The enemies like this are tough. Um, because if snooze hits you, it can be game over. It's such a shame. If they snooze you and you fall asleep, even if they hit you, you might not wake up, and it'll just really crush your dreams. Got him.
Okay. And we're going to go down here. If he attacks me and doesn't cast Sizz or Snooze, it's like a godsend. One damage? Yes, please. Alright, sweet. So, let's just keep fighting here. Okay. This guy still does a good amount of damage to us, but he's sweet because he gives us so much golden experience. 42 and 62. Beautiful. I'm gonna heal. We actually don't need that much to level up. It was like 600 something, I believe. So, you know, 15 of those skeletons and we got it. Well, here's round two. Let's see if we can beat it this time. He's doing slightly less damage to us. Okay. So in this case, I am going to do something different. I am going to just um, attempt to heal myself. He killed us. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he got to go first. That didn't work. And he hit, he hit like, at the top end of his range. So even with um, the shield, that guy is still too hard for us. 479, though. That's no problem. Um, yeah, we'll save it. It's fine. All right. So we lost about 200, not about, but we lost 260 gold, which is a bummer, but to be honest, it's not really that big of a deal. Luckily, we've spent most of our money. It's... If I lose a thousand or more, I'm sad, but like a few hundred, that's just a few fights, and we need the experience more than anything right now. Of course, you can always just save the game so that kind of stuff doesn't happen to you, but it's just one of the things, like, sometimes the math doesn't work out in your favor. Like, if we would have got to heal right there, and then we could have eked out one more or two more attacks before uh, we would have got that fight, we would have won. But... What we know is that with this character right now, realistically, even with the shield, and we've done the science to prove it, we need to run when we see the uh, gold golem. So what we need to do is we're not going to sizz him to death. We're not going to sizz him for, um, you know, uh, appreciably more damage than we're doing with our weapon and beat that dude, at least in my opinion. So my opinion is we run. And remember, you're not guaranteed to escape. So we just keep running until they grant us passage against that guy. For now. When we get one more level, I think we can beat him. Maybe not, though. I mean, he might still be difficult for us, but at least we know. Nothing else really gives us too much trouble. So we're still in the right spot. And most certainly, once we get the uh, full plate, are we going to be set? All right, chilling, walking through. See, a fight like this, we're at 38 health, but now we're going to heal right after this battle. Oh, we actually didn't kill him in two rounds. Interesting. But it's fine. Okay, 40 experience. All right. 49 isn't even full health anymore. Alright, so what we can do too, though, is <laughs> because we're getting owned um, by the gold golem, discretion is the better part of Valor. And instead of fighting down there where he's a possibility, I was actually trying to fight down there specifically to get that fight. But because we can't handle it, let's just walk um, right around the town in this forest. And we'll get fights that we know we can take, like this one. And then just kind of work our way to level 10. Need to heal. Once you get down to about half health or whatever, heal. Now. Got him. Okay. 
bear, uh, the werewolf is coming at us. He actually got a free round attack and then attacked us first. So another reason why you just still need to stay topped off. You still need to be careful. Scorpion. Okay, here we go. All right, we will heal after this fight. And this is what you do. You find a place that's safe. This is definitely safe. We still need to heal, but we're close enough to the town for that to be no problem. Hey, we got a crit. Easily kill that guy. And it's a beautiful spot for us to just start making money. Look at this. We're already at 819 gold. What you do, at least in Dragon Warrior 1, is you use the top-end equipment... Not in this case, because the magic armor is too expensive and has the same defensive value as the full plate. But you use the top-end item of a town as a kind of gauge for like, okay, I need to get this. This is my goal. And then once you get that, um, you will have also gained enough experience maybe to push on to that next town or to explore across the next bridge. You can, of course, do it without getting the equipment, but as you can see, you will just die. Game has no problem killing you. What we're trying to do here is get level 10. Okay. We're very close to it. Are we at yeah, 42 health? That's great. Again, with all of our armor at this point, these guys are kind of a joke. Beware. There it is. All right, so we got level 10. Strength by five is fantastic. Agility by nine means we're not like the golem probably shouldn't be able to attack before us anymore. Resilience four will keep us alive. Three more hit points. Eh. And we got fizzle. So fizzle is good against a spell casting enemy. But that's about it. All right. So now we have 55 health. The question is, can we take a golem? And I'm going to tell you the answer. Maybe. Maybe. But here's what we should do. We should go to the item shop, which in this town is this guy over here. And then we're just going to purchase a Chimera Wing. And the reason I'm doing it is because I have a thousand gold. And I don't want to lose at that, like 500 right now. It's not, I don't want to. So I'm going to use my wing. And I'm going to go here. I'm going to save the game. So when we experiment, maybe get a golem, we can see if we can beat it. And if we can't beat it, we have a game save. So it's not that bad. 862 to the next level. All right. Sweet. How am I doing status-wise? Uh, we need to stay at the end. I'm down on magic points. The other thing about the Chimera Wing is nice because you get to come to this inn, which is three gold. Hello. You love to see the three gold inn.
Okay. And now I'm just going to venture out. We're going to try to get back to Rimmeldar because we need about 2,000 more gold to get ourselves the full plate. Then I'm going to feel strong enough to maybe get the fighter's ring in the cave south of Ray, uh, Galen Holm, but definitely try to explore Galen Holm's grave. There's some good treasures in there beyond just the liar, which is the item that we get, which is what the old man wants in exchange for the Staff of Rain, by the way, in the Sage's Temple that's over uh, by the village of Cole. Okay. We don't really need the Staff of Rain right now. It's like an in-game item, but these are all things that we will eventually need to gather. By the way, the dragon in this cave that is guarding the princess, uh, we will not be defeating that until we are about 14th or 15th level. Okay. Okay, now... We've got the game saved. And we're going to work towards the big jerk golems. But we're going to do that with the hit points. 30 hit points ain't enough. The reason it's worth it is because it's just such a big injection of gold, which will get us to the full plate faster. That doesn't mean, though, we still need experience. We still need to level up. We're not going to be beating anything if we're too low of a level. But it'll make leveling up easier if we have the uh, full plate. Okay. That guy didn't even hit us. Alright, here's our test. We're not at full health, which stinks. He defended, which is interesting. Okay, well then, <laughs> we're gonna win. We crit him. But that's okay. That happened. Crits can happen. Bam. And now, 6 experience, which is meh, but 650 gold. How about that? We're up to 1895, just like that. We heal. And we celebrate. Awesome. All right, everybody. We're 10th level. We beat our first golem. Just required a little bit of critical hit help, but that's all right. And we are working towards the full plate. We got the new shield. We went over to Galen Holm to do that. And we got 10th level, and we're working on level 11. I hope you're still finding this series to be useful and fun. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care.